Good morning. To help prepare our minds for the taking of the Lord's Supper this morning, I'd like to share a few thoughts with you. You know, one of the words that has really been thrown around a lot lately is the word essential. And it is defined as that which is absolutely necessary for society to continue to function as it needs to. We have essential businesses, we have essential workers, we have essential items that you can buy at the store, essential safety precautions that we are to follow. There are essential distances to stay away from each other. There's essential medical procedures that can happen. And on and on that list would go about what is deemed essential. But you know, for us as Christians, there are also some essential things that we need to keep in mind. Things that will keep us encouraged, things that will keep us connected to each other and connected to God. Things that help us function as Christians, function as the body of Christ, help us remain faithful and help us remain focused. You know, I consider our meetings together as one of those things that is essential for us as God's people. And you know, we have learned some ways to meet together virtually as we are doing together today. They, these things help us stay connected. And for the short term, we can make this work. I also consider our own personal study time and prayer time as things that are essential. And many of us have had an abundance of time to devote to these over the last few weeks. But you know, also essential, and in my opinion of utmost importance, is the time that we spend on the first day of the week in communion with our Lord. Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 16 and 17 describes this essential with these words. Is not the cup of blessing which we bless a sharing in the blood of Christ? And is not the bread that we break a sharing in the body of Christ? Since there is one loaf and we who are many are one body for we all partake of the one bread. You see, when we partake of the bread and we drink of the cup, we share, we participate in the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, we are reminded of our baptism when the blood of Christ was applied to our hearts. We were covered with the blood at that point. We were clothed with Christ when we were baptized into Christ. And now as a reminder of that essential event in our lives, when we participated in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we now partake of the bread and we drink from the cup to remind us of that great event in our lives and the great event of Jesus dying on the cross. Paul tells us in verse 17, there is one bread and we who are many are one body for we all partake of the one loaf. And brothers and sisters, this morning, as we take of the bread and drink from the cup, we are sharing together in the one loaf, the one bread covered by the one true blood of Jesus Christ. So this morning, remember this essential. And although we are meeting in many different places around this city, we are all participating in the same bread, sharing in the same cup, because we have become united with Jesus Christ in his blood.